गाइस इश्प्रीत है वेलकम बैक टू स्लिक एंड नैटी सो फ्यू डेज बैक आई पोस्टेड अ वीडियो ऑन डी आई वाई हेड बैंड फॉर गर्ल्स दैट यू कैन मेक फ्रॉम ओल्ड टी शर्ट्स एंड मेनी ऑफ यू रिक्वेस्टेड दैट आई शुड डू वीडियो ऑन हेड बैंड फॉर बेबी गर्ल्स ये बेबीज लुक एब्सोल्यूटली अडोरेबल इन हेड बैंड एंड इन टू डेज वीडियो आई बी शोइंग यू हाउ यू कैन मेक दिस एट होम योर सेल्फ फॉर योर क्यूटीज एंड द मॉडल फॉर टू डेज वीडियो समन वेरी स्पेशल इज एक्चुअली अ बेबी बॉय नॉट अ बेबी गर्ल He is Krishya. He is my friend Devita's baby. He is 3.5 months old, and he was such a sport that he agreed to put on all these girlish hair bands and happily pose in these. Hope you will like this video. Do subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button below for more such videos. First up, we will be making this pretty ruffle flower headband, and trust me, babies look absolutely adorable with this. For this, take an old T-shirt and cut out a rectangle from it of width 4 to 4.5 inch, and length should be your baby's circumference of the head minus half an inch. Now, I will fold the rectangle into half such that the wrong side is facing outwards, and then stitch on this blue line as I have marked here, leaving about two inch opening in the center, which we will be using to turn the band inside out. I am now stitching along the blue line, and as you can see, I have stitched. leaving about 2 inch opening in the center and i will now use this opening to turn the band inside out now all you have to do is to close this opening which you can close using a straight stitch like i am doing here or you can even use fabric glue as i'll be showing you in one of the subsequent headbands now just join the two edges of the band like this and stitch them together the stitch is now done and now just turn the band around and you can see that it looks very neat the band is now done and now we will be making the flower for the flower you have to cut out circles from the same t-shirt you will need four large and five smaller circles the diameter of the large circle is 3 inch and that of small circle is 2.5 inch first take one of the large circles and some fabric glue put this glue in the center and fold the circle into half pressing it in the center now again put some fabric glue in the center again fold it into half and leave it to dry for a couple of minutes you have to make petals like these from four large and four small circles so we are left with one small circle which we'll be using as a base take some fabric glue and put it in the center of this base circle in plus shape like this Take the four large petals and stick these on the base pressing these in the center. After this we'll again take some fabric glue put it in plus shape and now stick the smaller petals in the same way as we did with larger petals. Press these petals in the center and lift these up from the sides like this and your flower is ready. Finally take the band fold it to find its center. and now take the flower and stick it on the band not on the center but a little away from the center with fabric glue press it gently and this beautiful head band is ready and our krishya baby looks absolutely stunning in this head band i think he loves it too next up we'll be making these cute little fabric bow head bands I'll show you how I made the red one for this take any t-shirt or leggings or whatever and cut out a rectangular strip from it which is 1.5 inches wide and the length should be the circumference of the head of your baby minus half an inch as it will stretch when worn put some fabric glue on one edge of the strip and fold it to bring it to the center of the strip put fabric glue on the other edge as well and fold it so that it meets the other folded edge Now bring the two ends of the band together such that one overlaps the other and stitch them together. Cut out a small rectangular piece from the same t-shirt, place it under the joint of the band and fold its two edges with fabric glue to cover the joint like this. The band is now ready. Now let's make the bow. For making the bow you have to cut out two fabric pieces of this shape I am cutting it out from red shorts for the bow you can use old t-shirt shirt legging shorts whatever I am tracing this shape on the shorts with a chalk and then cutting it out These are the dimensions of the fabric piece that I cut out for your reference Cut out two identical pieces like this place one over the other such that their right sides or the good sides face each other 
Join the two pieces together by stitching along this dotted black line leaving about 1.75 inch opening in the center. Before stitching, join them together with all pins so that they don't get displaced and now you can start stitching close to the edge like this. You can see this opening in the center where I have not stitched. Now just pull the bow out through this opening to turn it inside out. The bow is now almost ready. You don't have to close the center opening as this will be hidden when we tie the knot. Now take the bow, tie a knot in the center like this and your bow is ready. Finally, all you have to do is to stitch this bow to the band that we had made and the headband is ready to be worn. So let's ask Krishay if he likes it. Krishay, do you like it? I think that was a yes. Well, since he liked it so much, I made him another one from this t-shirt and as you can see, he loves this one as well. So now let me teach you another bow headband. This bow is made from ribbon instead of fabric. So you need some red ribbon. Mine is about 1.5 inches wide. Cut two 7 inch long and one 6 inch long strip from this ribbon. Burn the ends of the ribbons very slightly by placing it close to a candle flame for a second so that they become hard and the threads don't come out. Join the ends of each of these three ribbons using Fevicol or any liquid adhesive so that they turn into loops. So you have three loops now, press these a bit so that they flatten out. Now take the two loops that we had made from 7 inch ribbon and join these in the center in X shape or cross shape using Fevicol or liquid adhesive. Stick the third loop which is the smaller loop in the center horizontally like this. Take some thread, wrap it around the center and tie its two ends together. This we have done so that the three ribbons don't get displaced from their place. Now cut out another ribbon strip which is 3.75 inch long and make triangular notches on both its ends. Paste this horizontally on the back side of the bow. Finally cut a strip which is 2.75 inch long and paste it and wrap it in the center to cover and hide the thread that we had tied. Make a band for this as I had made in option number 2, stitch it to the bow and your headband is ready to be worn. And there are no prizes for guessing that our crochet rocks this look as well. Finally, I'll be teaching you how to make this absolutely cute and smart knot headband. For this, you need a large t-shirt because you have to cut out a rectangular strip which is 10 inches longer than the circumference of your baby's head which will come somewhere around 22 to 26 inches. The width has to be 3 inches. Now fold this strip into half and cut triangles at both its ends. The tip of the triangle should not be pointed but should be a bit rounded. Make this triangle on the other end as well. Now we have to stitch around this strip leaving about 2 inch opening in the center. So here I am stitching close to the edge. This is how it will look after you have stitched it and this is the opening in the center. Put your thumb through the opening and pull the strip onto the thumb. Then pull it out to turn it inside out. Do this for the other end as well. To close the center opening, take some fabric glue, put it on the edges of the opening to join them together like this and the opening is closed. Finally, take the two ends of the strip and tie these in a double knot. You can tie this knot directly on the baby's head as well and your headband is ready. And as always, Mr. Krisha is really excited to sport this hairband. I had a blast while shooting for this video and I want to thank my friend Devita for letting me shoot her cute little boy and dressing him up as a girl. I hope you like this video. Do let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite headband and do connect with me on my Instagram account which is Slick and Natty and do 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 subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.